This is Nick with Logos by Nick.com, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create a clipping mask using Affinity Designer. And what a clipping mask does is it basically allows you to take an object like an image and make it take the shape of another object like text. So let me show you how to do that here. So to get us started, I have the image opened. The first thing I want to do is create a shape to go over this where I would like the, the image to flow into. So for this demonstration, I will be using text. I'm going to grab the artistic text tool and I'm going to click on the canvas right here and I'm going to write jump. And let me select all of that by pressing Control A and I'm going to change the font to something else. I'm going to use Sorona for this demonstration. And let me make this a little bigger. Grab the select tool. And I want to position this over the area where I would like the image to flow into. So it's important to pay attention to where this image where this uh, object lines up with the image. So let me make this a different color so I can see it a little better. I'm going to make this red. It contrasts well with the, with the blue background here. And I'm going to bring down the opacity a little bit so I can see where the image is coming through on that text. And I want to bring the letters of the text in a little closer to each other. So let me go back to the text tool. Let me click between two letters right here and press Alt. Hold down on Alt and use the left arrow keys to bring that space in a little bit like that. And I'm going to position this over the image here. I'm going to make this a little bigger. You may have to make it bigger or smaller depending on your image and what you would like included in your image. I'll put that right about there. And what I want to do now to make this into a clipping mask, I'm just going to take this image layer right here that's beneath the text and I'm just going to click and drag this up into the text layer. And as I do that, watch what happens. As you can see, the image flows into the text right there. Okay, now if you want to remove it, you just expand this menu, take the image, and move it out of that text layer like that. Okay, so let me put that back in there. How do we make it so that part of the image comes out of the text like I did here in this demonstration? To do that, we're just going to add more shapes. We're going to manually add more shapes to the text layer. So let me remove this out from the text here. Let me select the text. Actually, let me grab the pen tool, which is located right here. We can press P on the keyboard. And let me deselect everything by pressing Escape on the keyboard a couple of times. I'm going to zoom in over here on the, on the uh, subject's head. I'm going to hold Control and roll up the mouse wheel. And I'm going to start clicking to create points going around the subject here. And basically what I'm doing is I'm basically just drawing in a path going around the subject. And to move the page around like this, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. To zoom in and out, I'm just going to hold control and roll up and down the mouse wheel like that. And those are your basic navigation controls. So I'm going to go through here and outline this subject real quick. And I'm going to bring it back through here, back to the starting point to close the path like that. Now I'm going to make this match the text here. So I'm just going to give this a solid red fill. I'm going to get rid of the stroke up here and I'll bring the opacity down. This part isn't necessary. You don't have to make it match the text here, but I'm just doing it just so you can see where I'm going with this. I'm basically adding an outline of him, of this subject here, to the text here. And I'm going to do that down here as well. I think I'm going to add maybe his arm in right here, and I'll leave his legs sticking out like that. So let me grab the pen tool again. Let me press escape on the keyboard to deselect everything. And I'm just going to draw an outline going through the arm right here real quick. Okay, so now I will just go right here and close the path. And there we go. I have the shapes that I would like to include in the clipping mask here. Let me just make this match just for consistency. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom out. What I want to do now is let me de click off of it to deselect everything. I want to take the text layer. In order for this to work, the text, for whatever reason, the text layer has to be layered on top. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to Make sure you have the text layer selected. I'm going to press Control, Shift, and the right bracket key, and that's going to move it to the top of the layer list here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag over all of that. I'm going to click and drag over the text and the two objects that we drew, not the background image. As you can see here, I have these top three layers selected, not the background. And with all three of them selected, I'm going to come up here to the Boolean operations and click on Add. And it's going to combine them together into one shape. And now I can take this image and move it into here to make it into the clipping mask. And if I click off it to deselect, as you can see, we are finished. That is how you can go about creating a clipping mask with Affinity Designer. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.